Happy 600 subscribers. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Stick around to the end because I have a challenge for each of you. So that's a bit of a milestone. 600 subs might not seem like a lot, but for how this channel started, that's pretty impressive. This channel started around 2007 with me just wanting to play around, upload a couple of things that nobody else had. There was some Commodore 64 content, but uh, there was really no Commodore 128 native content, and certainly no Super CPU content. To this day, I still believe I'm the first person to upload anything Super CPU related to YouTube. If you check my history, I think you'll find that's true. Over the years, I'd upload things that were of interest to me, really just to kind of amuse myself and occasionally to share with a handful of people. There was really never any thought that this would be any kind of serious project of any sort. It wasn't until about a year and a half ago where I really started noticing my subscribers just jumping up. Ignored it for a while and they kept jumping. It seemed in maybe a few months time went from probably 38 subscribers to approaching 200 looked into it and one of my old videos was just exploding. Did a video about test drive on the Commodore 64 with a super CPU and it was just going gangbusters. It was showing me within a month it had gone over a hundred thousand views. It slowed down after that but I know at this point it's over 150,000 views and it's constantly just getting views, views, views. Why? No idea. Apparently with the interest that that brought, a lot of my older, other older videos started to get more views too. With some sort of semblance of interest, I figured, hey, I want to go ahead and start uploading some new content. Put a little bit more time into it. At the same time, I started really using a device called Turbo Chameleon and found that there was really no content online on YouTube about it couple videos just showing what it is, but nothing showing really using it and what is possible to do with it. So started focusing some on that. I got some decent traction. More importantly, that's something I enjoy. And there's at least a small group of people who are appreciative that someone is covering it. So fast forward to now and 600 subscribers, who would have thought? With 600 subs, maybe it's an inflection point where do I get a little bit more serious to try to grow this thing or what? I'm thinking maybe narrowing the focus. I've pretty much narrowed the focus down to retro computers already. I may tinker with some things here or there, but I think more or less it's going to be retro computers. And inside that retro computers, probably can narrow that down even a little bit more. The core of my interest of always been the Commodore line, 8-bit, M16-bit, Commodore 64, Commodore 128, and Amiga primarily. Commodore 128 being my favorite computer of all time. More specifically the Commodore 128D, more specifically than that, the Commodore 128D, CR, cost reduce, metal case, not plastic. But I do have other interests and other 8-bit and 16-bit computers. There are just too many out there to cover everything. So here's my story how I got into this retro computer journey. They weren't retro computers when I first started using them. Growing up initially didn't have a computer. I did have two different friends, one whose family had an Apple II and one who had a Tandy color computer too. I was always so fascinated I wanted one. I would beg my parents to get one, but they were expensive back in the early to mid 80s. So after probably three years of begging, Christmas morning 85, unwrapped Commodore 64 and 1541 Drive. They weren't new, they were used, but I didn't care. That was the single greatest thing that happened to me as far as I was concerned. Now I have been working since I was 13 
think actually technically 12, late 12, but let's say 13. Got that computer Christmas, I believe I was 13 at the time. Then by 15, I had saved up money and bought myself, first computer paid for with my, with my own money, bought a Commodore 128. In the subsequent months, I saved up, bought a 1571 drive, and then ultimately a 190. Actually, I take that back. No, it wasn't a 1902. It was a 2002 monitor. So by that point, I had a full Commodore 128 setup. Sometime around uh, 14 years old, before, even before the 128, I um, went to a Toys R Us and bought a modem shortly thereafter as on bulletin boards. I've more or less been online ever since then. So yeah, when I say Commodore 128 is my favorite computer, it really is. I don't get along great with the people who say Commodore 128 is not a good computer and it was not capable. It's just a glorified Commodore 64 for gaming. No, that's not the case. That's spoken by someone who never owned one or if they did own one, they never tried. Being a computer owner since my early teens has helped me in my career. In 1999, when Y2K was coming up and everybody was panicking, I got tasked at the job I was working for to certify that all the building-related equipment was Y2K compliant. So in facilities, our sister properties with other staff were having a real hard time getting the compliance. Apparently they were doing it old fashioned and breaking out the phone book and calling up the manufacturer. I didn't have that problem. I went online, found the websites, found the Dr. Y2K compliance documentation. I was done in an afternoon. Our headquarters couldn't believe it. I mean, that seems so silly now for me saying that. Most people are probably saying, well, of course you did, that's simple. Back in 99, most people didn't even understand the internet. Anyhow, that's about enough for me. Now we're circling back to you. How did you get your start in these computers? Did you own one of these so-called retro computers back when they weren't retro, when they were cutting edge? Or did you get into it later as a hobby? If you have owned an original one, when did you first get it? What's your story? This channel isn't as much about me as it is all of you, all of us. This channel has never about, been about me, 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 or it's not gonna be about me, me, me. I kinda like to start a little community, and I, I think I've mentioned before, I have some ideas of what could happen, what I could be doing as time goes on, hopefully this year. Hopefully in the coming months, you'll start seeing some new things popping up. I think some things would be exciting. I think a good portion of the viewers of this channel would like where things are going to go. But please go down to the comment section and tell me about yourself. What computers are your interest? And where'd you get your start? And if there's any little interesting tidbits about you or your story. And again, I want to thank you for 600 subscribers. Thank you for everybody who engages and comments. It means a lot to me. See you on the next video. Peace.